Hey guys, it is Dwayne from Yugatech, and today we're here to talk about One UI 7. At the time of recording, the rollout has begun and should arrive for the following devices in the coming months. Some of its highlights include various updates, including a cleaner look and more flexibility for personalization. There's a lot of ground to cover here, so we'll be naming some of our favorite features for your viewing pleasure. Roll the intro. One of the biggest changes that came with One UI 7 can be found on the lock screen. The now bar is Samsung's refined take on the dynamic island. While it works similarly by showing users what app is running in the background, there's more interaction to it. If you have, let's say, Spotify or a timer working in the background at the same time, it lets you shuffle through them with ease. You can even tap on them to get more controls. Personally, what's really nice about this feature is its placement. It's so easy to manage since most of us hold our phones like... So... There's also a ton of options for users to chip out their lock screen courtesy of a few widgets. If you're really keen on having your days planned out, the calendar is nice to keep around. Gone are the days of having to go to your home screen to get this sorted. Now you can see how long it takes until an awaited date arrives every time you open your lock screen or when you miss the birthday. There's also the gallery widget, which lets users display a specific image or an entire album on the screen. It even supports PNG files. The clock has some pretty neat changes too. You can now change its thickness, resize it, and reposition it wherever you like. For the home screen, users will notice that the app icons have gone through cosmetic changes. The sizes can also be tweaked via home screen settings along with the option to hide their labels. This should be great for those going for a cleaner, minimal look. To complement this, app folders can now also be enlarged. If you're not a fan of it, you can always shrink it back down. Collectively, these give users more options to tinker around with their home screen layout. Another thing worth noting is that the search bar is now located at the bottom of the screen. Similar to the now bar placement, this makes devices easier to use with just one hand. Moving on, users will be able to see notifications by swiping down on the top left of your screen. Swiping on the right, however, brings up the quick settings panel. Again, how this is presented can be tweaked with. By clicking the pencil icon at the top of the quick settings panel, users can click on panel settings. From here, you may choose if you want the old layout which has no tips and quick settings together or you could still have them separately. You can even tap edit on the selection of the quick settings and add as many as you like. My personal favorite is the updated song search feature which basically works like Shazam. Users may also expand or shorten this section based on preference. You can also now tap and hold different sections for rearranging. This is a nice change that hints that maybe Samsung saw our past video on One UI 6 where we talked about how their changes to design and language to put the toggles higher eliminated simple one-handed use. But now, everything's super flexible, which I'm sure native Samsung users really appreciate. Wrapping up, we have to note down a couple of much appreciated design changes. Found within settings, users can click on notifications and then status bar to show battery percentage. While we've always had this option, the new pill-like icon at the top right of the screen looks so much better than before. Similarly, the charging animation had a facelift. While it looks really good, it also informs its user how fast it's charging based on its color. For reference, a green battery bar means it's fast charging, while a blue battery bar means it's super fast charging. Well, that about wraps it up for our favorite One UI 7 features. Which new features did you guys love the most? Feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't gotten the update yet, it should be rolling out within the coming months. Again, here are the list of devices set to receive the update. If you found the video informative, please hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell to stay updated for our future uploads. You may also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok. And check us out at yougatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Dwayne, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.